Hey guys, what's up? So I'm just sitting here for now. I'm probably gonna change locations because um, the light in here is weird and I just feel like I'm trying to get this shot for you guys to kind of see how the um, cabinets turned out. So I love the cabinets. Here they are, with like the curved edges we talked about and they are perfectly all lined up and they're gonna be sprayed glossy, like semi, whatever, I don't know, not super glossy, but more glossy than this. So the color is gonna change slightly. Um, which I'm good with. This looks super white here. It's not that white in real life. It's just the color is kind of like off um, because of the lighting. But um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how they turned out. They're not totally finished, but I needed them to be done for like Christmas because I had my family over for one day. And I want to say, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and holiday. I took one day off last week just because I was going to film, but I was just so behind with getting ready for everyone to come over. So I just wanted to take it to kind of like because they just fit, put the cabinets in the night before, whatever, long story, okay. So, um, and then the decor I have up, I just have like some Hermes boxes because I love it, it's very like, minimal, bougie, I just, I like the Hermes box vibe. Um, I have some pictures of like my brother and there's a picture of me and Nick over here and then Bao, it's like my, I just love it. And then, okay, the, the big elephant in the room is the Mao Zedong and I, what, like 99% of you guys won't even fucking even know who he is or whatever, but because we don't really learn about things like important things in the US. Okay, so um, Mao Zedong, okay, I just wanna put a big disclaimer out there for anyone who is offended, I totally understand. And actually about eight or nine years ago, I got a comment on one of my videos. And I was still living in my loft, because I used to, I, us I used, usually have him in my bedroom and I put like necklaces on him just like as a keeper, right? As like just a whole necklaces. Um, but um, I got a comment from someone a long time and be like, oh my God, I'm unfollowing you. I was a Chinese girl. She's like, I'm so offended that you would have a Mao Zedong like statue up. She's like, do you not realize that he is responsible for millions of deaths? Like hundred percent. Okay. I am not like romanticizing or fantasizing about Mao Zedong. Okay. He is a dictator. He's responsible for like the m murder and he's just of millions, I think millions of people. Yeah and just like the deterioration of a whole society. Okay, I get it, like, like awful, 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 like horrible history, disgusting, okay? But I need to tell you guys why I have it up just because it's a part of my, my personal history that I very much like, like, you know, love and respect and grew from and it's my fucking life. Don't be offended, I 100% agree with people. The other people are like, they like him, like, I don't know, um, he, he, and there's so many different viewpoints and I'm on the viewpoint that I hate communism, okay? That's my viewpoint, we know that. All right, anyway, so I just wanna quickly tell you why I have him because you guys know I lived in China for almost two years and what I saw living there with, with, um, with Mao specifically is how insane it was, how you have these people, the older, older generation, who completely romanticizes and idolizes and respects the guy who just destroyed destroyed their lives and killed their relatives, okay? Like murdered them and, and, and stuck them in a communist situation. Like, and they live in like a cinder block room, literally. They live in like a tiny room and they on their wall, they have posters or statues of Mao. It's crazy to me how brainwashed, you know, he, he how, how, you know, people like Hitler, Mao, how they can brainwash people. It's crazy, dude. Like to me, it's insane. So I also, specific, more specifically to me, I had, a, I don't, he's not a friend. He was an old man who lived in a shed near where I lived. And I lived in a um, really small, like a cr grungy apartment in like the French concession. And um, loved it, loved every moment of it a lot, you know, until I got sick of it at the end. <laughs> but um, I was like, I've considered him my friend. But he had the same thing. He lived in a bike shed, okay? And he had a fucking poster of Mao Zedong in his bike shed. It's like, I don't understand. So this specifically reminds me of my friend. Anyway, he did favors for me, like watched after things for me. And I would like do favors for him. I would give him food and things like that. And then when I went back to visit, if you guys don't remember, I brought him a Hong Bao, which is um, like, it's a red envelope with money in it. And I was really happy to do that. Like that was one of the reasons why I wanted to go back is just to like see my friend and give him the Hong Bao, I remember. But anyway, this is why I have a Mao up here. It reminds me of my time. That it reminds me of how, of, of actual shit. It reminds me of like actually people that, uh, it's just, okay. If you haven't lived there, you don't really understand. And I'm not romanticizing the guy. I don't have to defend myself, I know. But like, I like to just, I do like to defend myself. I like to you guys to understand where I'm coming from because I'm always right, okay? You know that, okay. 
So this is how, this is what it turned out. And I just have my little things up here. Like those candles are like those um, Mary and Jesus candles from Walmart that I got. And I just love the art on them. I feel like their faces are very pretty. We've already talked about this. And it looks like it's in front of a picture, but it's actually not. It's just like the camera's in a weird, okay. And then bows there. And then, yeah. Okay, so that's that. I just wanna show you this a little setup I have going on here. Okay, so now I'm gonna sit here and just talk to you guys a little bit about random shit that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about. And this morning I asked you, I was like, would you be down for a video that was longer than an hour? And the overwhelming response was yes. So I would not want to like, I'm not going to sit here and like talk to you guys if you don't want me to talk to you. Like, you know what I mean? So you said yes. And um, I'm happy about that because I have a lot of shit to talk to you guys about. But um, if you don't like these or if you think that like my stories are stupid or whatever, please tell me. And I'll probably block you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I won't. But um, I don't know. Like right now during COVID, lockdowns actually it's not during COVID bitch okay it's during the lockdowns because we have a choice for us to do this which we are I might get into that too a little bit because you guys know how I feel about that shit um it's absolutely it's just it's so bad okay um so I um I, I just like it's different bitch like I'm not gonna fucking go out with like a mask on just to get into a store I have to wait in a line like it's legitimately I don't want to get into it. I don't want to say it's like communism because it's it's not like actually like people in Venezuela waiting for like, you know, bread. But, you know, it's a taste of it, bitch. And if you're not awake to that, then you're a fucking idiot. Okay? You're a fucking idiot. So, um, what I want to talk about first, though, is just some like random ass shit. I have like a story to tell you guys. I just was like eating meat, you know what I mean? So I don't know if like I want to get into it. We'll just see how I feel. My coffee to this morning, I didn't eat coffee with tangy meat. Yeah, my bitch. Yes, my coffee this morning sucked again. Like, and I don't know what to do. Like, I, I don't know. I'm like, honestly, I'm not, I'm a little bit on edge about it. So it's like, the thing is I can't go back in when the coffee sucks and tell them I just can't. Like, I don't want to deal with, deal with the snooty comments because it's kind of that kind of thing where I'll get in a fight and the two against one thing is hard for me. And just ruins my day that I had to like get into a, like get into an, like a verbal altercation about it when they should just be like, I, I don't know. I just don't want the attitude. I'd rather not get the attitude. That's the thing. I don't want, cause I don't want to like hate someone. You know what I mean? I don't want to like not like you because you suck. You suck at what you did and you watched the kind of problem. I'll make it over for you. Like I'm, I'm going to get the attitude. I don't want the attitude. I don't want it. Okay. Um, actually I just want to start off with a, a little like thought that I had. And if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, then that's totally fine. <laughs> um, so this is the thing. I actually had this thought and I had the thought before anyone, but then anyone's really fucking funny is I heard someone talk about it and I was like, I cannot, you know what, who, you know, who talked about it? it was like a real intellectual. I was so damn proud of myself because lately more and more over like the past couple of years, I have like been aligning with intellectuals mentally. And like, I never thought I was smart. Like I always thought I was like kind of street smart. Like, you know, I mean, I just was never thought I was like intellectually like smart. And like, I swear to God, like I am. And I just feel like, pat on the back. Okay, bitch, so listen to this. It is so true, bitch. Okay, I was once, I watched this Forensic Files episode. Do you guys remember the Forensic Files episode where they were trying to get DNA? Like they're trying to get someone's like blood or something. I forget what it was to try and match him to a murder. Okay. And he was a doctor and he's like, sure. No problem. Come, come into my office and, um, take my, take, take, take whatever you need, which DNA is weird. DNA, you could touch something and that's like DNA, but I forget what it was exactly that they need. Okay. So they went in at, to, to take, to hook him up to an IV to get some, some fluid from him. Okay. And they left and they got what they needed and then it ended up like they couldn't match him. And they're like, you know, we're gonna come back and do it again because something was weird about like the fluid. So they went in again and he's like, no problem, come in, I, I'm, I'm innocent, do it, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. So they did it again. And anyway, what they found out was that the guy was such a so sneaky, he had actually cut open his own skin and put a vial inside his own inside his own body okay and they were taking they were when they were hooking up to the iv they were come, they were taking from that vial that was hidden underneath his skin all right bitch do you actually think you dumb fucks okay if, who, who's the dumb fuck out there who's the dumb fuck because i'm starting to get pissed 
Who's the dumb fuck out there? Do you actually fucking think that these people are taking the fucking vaccine, bitch? Do you actually fucking think that? Okay, because if you think that, there is, you need to jump off, jump off of this right here. Just jump off, just jump off, okay? Because I'm getting hot, okay? Legitimately, do you think that, you dumbass? Are you dumbass, okay? I, 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 don't, I don't understand, like, do you honestly think they're doing, because they're not. They're not doing it. What do you think is in that vial? That they're, oh, I'm getting a vaccine. I'm getting a vaccine. Watch me. Watch me. Everyone do it now. Watch me. I'm getting the vaccine. There's nothing. It's like a fucking placebo. It's like water, okay? It's like nothing. How would you know what's in that vial? You're actually so stupid that you believe, you believe that these fucking all talk people, Fauci, Gates, all these people, they're actually taking the vaccine? Like, do you actually think they're going to do that, bitch? No, they're not. They're not, okay? Like, that's what they're doing. They're doing some sneaky ass shit. And I swear to God, I remember that Friends and Files episode where there are so many tricks, okay? I'm not, I'm just saying, like, that is, like, extreme. But you don't know what's in the vial that you're watching them on the news or whatever getting. Like, you don't know what's in that vial. I don't know. I am so mad about this whole thing. Like, I'm not, like, an anti-vaxxer or whatever. Like, I had all my vaccines as a child. <sighs> if I ever have children, of course, they'll have vaccines. You know what I mean? Like... I'm not like that, but like, no, bitch, like, I, I, I don't know what, bitch, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. I am not, okay, first of all, what if I want to have a kid? Like, if I want to have a kid, do you think I'm going to fucking take a vaccine before I have a child so it fucks me up? No, like, I better have a child before I have to take the vaccine, right? Like, are we all taking the vaccine? Is that what we're fucking doing, man? Like, I know by me even saying the word vaccine, I'm getting shadow motherfucking bad again, bitch. By the way, okay, by the way, I'm, you guys think I'm stupid? You guys think I'm stupid? My business grows exponentially every fucking year, but I can't gain a fucking follower? Yeah, okay, okay. So stupid. Like, how dumb do these fucking people think I am, man? Like, okay, it's one thing if my business was failing and tanking, you know what I mean? And like, no one watched me. No one like wanted more. No one liked my line. It's one thing, but then it's like, business grows, but I can't gain a follower. Duh. Like, oh my God, I just can't. Stand the stupidity out there. Like, I don't care. Like, people are, it's just so annoying. But anyway, by me saying the word vaccine, I get it. My literally video just got pushed to the bottom. Thank God you guys are watching. It's like, I'm not going to gain a follow from it. Like, I don't know. It's like, uh, it's so weird too. It's like, I start to gain traction. And then all of a sudden, like on Instagram, I lose like 7,500, like, like 200 followers. You know what I mean? Like, it is the most outrageous, obvious fucking game ever, man. Like, it's so fucking obvious. I'm so sick of it. It's just annoying because I know I deserve more. You know what I mean? Like, bitch, I know I deserve more. You're fucking with me. You make me look stupid. You make me look stupid. By you reducing my follower account, it devalues me as a, a cr creator, okay? As a designer, creator. It's bullshit, man. Like, how many, how many people are going to copy my motherfucking line before I get some motherfucking credit? That's what I want to know. I don't get any credit anywhere. We're taking my fucking followers away. I'm the real fucking OG here. That's the thing that bothers me. It's like, I get no fucking credit. I get no appreciation. I mean, I get it with like my numbers, what I'm doing in my life. It's fine. But like, it's bullshit. And it's so fucking obvious that I'm getting fucked. You know what I mean? By Insta, YouTube. It's like, it's just so stupid. Ugh. Oh my God, I can't. I'm so upset. Like, Honestly, I'm so mad. Like, you ask me why I'm pissed? I'm, why do you think I'm mad, bitch? Like, if you're not mad, there's something wrong with you. Like, if you're not pissed, there's something wrong with you. There really fucking is. And you know what's sad? It's like, there are so... I, I walk outside. I don't wear a mask outside, bitch. No, I do not wear a mask outside. What? Like, do you think I, I, I use common sense? Like, if I'm outside in the fresh fucking air and the fucking sun, I'm not going to wear a fucking mask. There's something wrong with you. If I told you, I will play by the rules. I told you a million times. If I have to go into a store, I will wear a mask. Okay, I get it. Like, I have to. I get it. The sheep are, the sheep make the rules. Like, I have to. If I want to eat something, if I want to buy something, I have to make a mask. Like, I have to wear a mask. I, and, and, my, and my spending has gone way fucking down because I don't want to play the game with you. It's annoying, bitch. I don't want to. I don't like it. Okay, and the, the sad thing is, though, is like, I'm outnumbered. I'm outnumbered. I walk outside with people with masks on in the fucking air, dude. In the air. There are people with masks on. Like, I don't understand. You have no common sense. Like, there is zero common sense there. And because everyone is just playing by the rules, 
everyone is like scared of each other. Everyone's walking around like, like, like they move, like they do this weird thing, like to try to get like, around you. Like, oh, I better not get too close because she, she might like, bitch, don't do it. Like, I, I don't do that. I, don't, I just like walk normally. Like I walk normally and I don't have masks on outside. If you have masks on outside, there's something wrong with you. Like, like there's, there, you, you really have walking around with a mask on outside. You're really walking around with a mask on outside. Like, I don't understand. Don't go outside, bitch. If you really think that you are going to get sick or be responsible for someone's death by not wearing a mask outside, then you should not leave the house. Just get like food delivered, okay? Get to, and by the way, also what really irritates me so badly is like, it's just the, it's just the obedience. How how well everyone is obeying, man. No one is fighting back. No one's saying shit. Everyone is just like behaving, act and, and, and trying not to offend anyone. Um, do, and like, you know what's the most disgusting part of the whole thing? Wake the fuck up. The people who are making these laws have not lost a fucking red cent. They have not, it has not cost them a dime. They are still getting their full paychecks. They are still have their fucking cush ass jobs. And anyone out there, bitch, who agrees with them, you're the same way. You haven't lost your job. You haven't lost your livelihood. Okay. And it, you have not like, if you are, let these people work, let these people open up their fucking restaurants, dude, it is so fucking sad, the shit that you see out there, like, if people, like, do we're not, like, I have been saying this since day one, have I not, of this lockdown, that what are we going to come back to, like, seriously, what are we going to come back to, it's going to be, we have had, the ki kids have been out of school for how long now, for basically a year, I cannot, what kind of generation is this going to be, like, thank, the, thank God I don't have a kid, and by the way, bitch, you know what's even worse, is the people that have voted this in, uh, there's this one, there's these girls I see who live in New York who like are all for the lockdown, like mask this, mask that. And they're in fucking Florida right now going out to dinner. They're, they are fucking enjoying, enjoying how, how Florida is open as fuck. The hypocrisy makes me sick. They should not go home. If you are in New York, if you're a New Yorker, bitch, and you are for the lockdown, do not go to fucking Florida. You're not welcome, bitch. I want to be, I want to fucking, I swear to God, I'm doing immigration there. Let me see your fucking passport where your driver's license where you're from. Get the fuck back home now, bitch. I want to see. I want to see. If you are for, not for the lockdown and you want to travel to fucking Florida, fine, do it. You should be able to do it. But if you're going to be a two-faced bitch, okay, and act like you're like so for the lockdown and then just do the complete opposite in another state, how do you live with yourself? Like, I don't understand that. There's also people, by the way, also people who are so for the lockdown and then they have sent their kids to other states to go to school. Can you believe this? Like children, like elementary. I know people that have done it. Like sick ass, twisted, hip, hip, hypocritical cunts, okay? Like I have had enough. That's my COVID rant. That is my COVID rant, okay? I had to do it. Like I have not done it. I had to do it. People need to start waking the fuck up. Like, I don't, it's, we don't even have, it's, it's over. That's a thing. It's like, I have been saying, I have been like screaming for a year now about this and I've been getting so much hate, but like so much love too, but like so much hate from these fucking morons out there. These dicks, these fucking dicks who have like, who, who their livelihoods, who, who are just generally rich people or they have like government jobs are not going to be affected, who have the fucking audacity to be for lockdowns. You're not thinking about anyone else other than yourself. It's so narcissistic, to be honest. Like, you're sick. Okay. I'm actually from narcissism. No, I'm just going to stop it here. I want to talk about narcissism really quick because I don't, I do not actually, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. And I like, I need to normalize this. I need to normalize this right now because bitch, like, okay, this is the truth. Why, 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 why can we not like put a very large photo of ourselves at our houses? <laughs> like, is this weird to you? Okay, my grandma growing up, okay, I had a grandma and she did that. She's like very extra though. And like, I kind of feel like I take after her a little bit and like, she's a different kind of extra. She's like, like flashy and stuff. Like I'm flashy, but I'm more like understated flashy. She's like flashy, like ballroom dancing flashy, flashy. Um, she had a very large photo of herself with like a feather boa above her. She had like a really nice house, like above her fireplace. Okay. When I was a child growing up, like I remember that shit, but like, I really don't see why that's bad. Like it isn't it, like, it's a sin, right? Is that, is that like vanity? Isn't vanity a sin? What is vanity actually? What is that sin? I want to know what that is because 
I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, I guess if I saw, if I went to someone's house and I saw like a picture of themselves on the wall, I'd be like, oh wow. Like I would be like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch, right? Like, wouldn't we do that? Vanity, sin. Let me look at this. In Christian teaching, vanity is an example of pride, one of the seven deadly sins. Okay, but like, yeah. Is vanity, okay. Vanity and pride are different things, <clears throat> though the words are often used synonymously. A person may be proud without being vain. Pride relates more to our opinion of ourselves, vanity to what we would have others think of us. Okay, so I don't care what anyone thinks of me. I actually don't give a fuck, like, right? I want, I just like, okay, this is the thing. It's like, I, what, this is the thing. You guys know, like, growing up, I always was like fat and ugly, like, hate, did, like was like so like, not confident. Like, if I, why can't I put like a really large photo of myself in my house? Like, why can I not? I want, like, I really want, like, I, I have like space to like put like arts and art and stuff now. And this is the thing, like, I really want some, some like nice artwork. So I was looking for artwork and I love the artist Mark Ryden. Okay. He's like kind of that creepy artist. Okay. And I mean, obviously like a real art, a real piece of his is like hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So not going to happen. So I was looking at like prints, but I don't really want a print because prints are kind of like, I don't want people to think that like, oh, I can't read thing, but like, you know, like I don't want to be like the person who has like fake art up. Like that's weird. Like it's a big, big print. That's like a, I don't know. Is that weird to have like a fake print of like an art, of art up? It's almost like a phone, like, like, like phony. Okay. So I don't know. There's this, this thing. Let me show you guys. It's called the meat dress and you're going to hate it. You're going to fucking hate it, but you don't get it. Okay. Meat dress, right in. Here we go. Okay. So I went to one of his, his, his exhibits and um, here it is. It's like disgusting, but I love it. It's like, I, I really, really like it. Um, I think, I don't know. I just like a lot of his work is a little bit too, actually a lot of his work is very like Chinese propaganda, um, which is very like Maoish, which I kind of like because it runs me my time there. Okay, bitch. Um, isn't that weird? It's why I hate communism, hate all this shit, but like, I'm like drawn to like the disgustingness of it. Okay. So the, the meat dress, I thought about getting like, a very large meat dress, like, like maybe like a, a nine foot or like a seven foot, like seven or eight foot print of like a meat, of the meat dress. I love it. It's creepy. I love really weird shit. Um, I don't like the coloring of this video right now. Sorry. It's like kind of like when I move, it gets to be like yellow. Um, meat dress. I really like that. But then I'm like, like, why am I just getting, like, why am I getting, why don't I just put myself up there? Not like a seven foot print of myself. Like that's really creepy. But like, why, but why, then it got to me thinking like, why can't we just put a photo of ourselves up? And I guess if I had like a child, I probably like, okay, if I ever have a child, I know it's so creepy too. You guys know like how pretty like Jean Benet Ramsey was. I would have like, my, if I, like if my child was pretty, um, I would totally do like a Jean Benet with like the flower, like the Jean Benet like vibe picture and then she got a massive one of my child and like put it up. Um, I would, my child would be very extra with that. Um, but like, why can't I have a photo of myself? Like I have, I, I feel like I've built a lot. Like I feel like I, 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 like I, I, I look different. Like I like the way I look now. I didn't like the way I look forever. And now I like, like the way I look for the past, you know, 10 years. I, I didn't like myself before. I was, I was not like pretty. I was like fat, awkward. And like, you know, for 10 years, I, I've been kind of cool with myself. Well, on off. We, we were not cool with me, like whatever, like two years ago, I remember. But you know, that's the thing is like, I'm always my, I'm always like, I'm ugly than I'm pretty. I'm ugly than I'm pretty. I don't know. Like it's, it's not like, I don't know, but I was never pretty growing up. So I have like this thing about like, if you're like skinny and pretty, you better like to, you better like enjoy it while you can. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I really like the meat dress and I really like the idea of putting a picture of myself, but I feel like it's too much and I don't want to be gross. Like do people like no one does that. Who does that? No one would do that. Even like a top model, like Giselle or whatever, like Tara Banks, I'm trying to think of like models, <laughs> would never do that, right? Like that's fucking weird. I don't know. It's weird, right? I don't know. Okay. Um, you guys know I just have like a list. I have a list, people. Um, I already told you something about him. Oh, I forgot to show you guys something. I'm gonna bring you guys back down and show you something that like really made me um 
I was like really excited to get it and I just want to show it to you and I want to be like what is this and you'll like know right away or you won't know right away and then you're like not the vibe um okay and so I have a story to tell you and then I also have a really like thought and you guys know my thoughts I always like I put them down and at the moment they're like they were like more impactful I also got this and I feel like it's a vibe I'm gonna show you guys I went to H&M this weekend and I really like it. It's just like a puffer vest. And by the way, so I did like an Insta story showing you guys what I bought. And people were like, Alex is the best. Okay, this is the thing, bitch. It's not a fucking vest. Like, just shut up. I hate people that try to like act like, oh my god, you're so dumb. Like, you don't know what it is. Like, you're dumb. It's not a fucking vest, okay? It's a fucking puffer. Legitimately, it's like one of the puffers from H&M, they like took the sleeves off. Yes, it is like a puffer vest, but like... I don't see, stop, just sit down. Don't try to correct me, okay, don't. All right, so, let me show you the vibe. So I just really, really like this. Um, kind of like, you guys know I've been doing this thing with like uh, turtlenecks with big shirts over. I've been like, but I, then I think putting this other layer on it is actually like, really cool and effortless. And I kind of just love it. So I want to show you guys, this was like $17. It was, it's a small, but um yeah so okay can I talk to you I'm gonna take it off because I'm doing that switching sound all right um I just want to talk to you about something that really infuriates me so much um and it's because like I watch reels now on insta because at night I just have so ADD I cannot watch tv like I can't watch tv it takes me like it takes me like three times to get through a movie like three three sessions of getting to get through a movie just because I'm so preoccupied with everything else other than just being able to sit down and relax like I just can't so oh my god the little feather is so cute just found a feather here um where'd that come from I don't know so what was I gonna say is um oh yeah okay so I'm going to, so you know like the reels thing you just get like all these random things okay sorry I gotta move you because I feel like they're starting to get dark and I don't like it I don't know Okay, um, reels. So you start to like see a bunch of different things going on on Insta and you get to like see a lot of different people who you probably wouldn't know about or follow, right? So, I'm sorry, it really bothers me. I really, it really bothers me when an overweight person, I know, like I don't care, talks about how they, they don't eat enough or they didn't eat something or like, oh, like I forgot to eat today. Or like, oh my god, like I know it's it's really bad. <laughs> it's like really bad, but like I forgot to eat today. Okay. Like I'm so secondhand embarrassed for you right now. Bitch, you are probably 50 to 100 pounds overweight. If you skipped meals for a week, you wouldn't die. Like let's put it this way. And it'd probably be a good thing for your system to actually skip a meal every once in a while. It bothers the fuck out of me. Like, it's weird. I, it's almost like this thing. I, I, I'm very real, bitch. I'm very real. Like, don't don't come at me and try to be like, and, and not not know you're like overweight or not think you're overweight. This, I don't like denial. I don't like a deny, a person in denial. It's Denial is fine. Like, I get it. People that tell you like live with yourself. Like, I understand. Like, I was in denial as fuck. <laughs> like, I was in denial as fuck. I thought I was like really, really, okay. Going back and seeing like pictures I posted when I was like fat, it like makes me cringe because I was fat. Yes, I stop it. I'm allowed, this is my personal diary. If you're uncomfortable, get the fuck off my channel. Go away. Like, I'm so sick of it. Like, I'm so sick of people trying to like, trying to, trying to like make, conform me. I will never conform, bitch. You not get it? Like, stop. Go, 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 go talk to your sheep. Go, go, go to the barn, talk to your sheep. I, this is not the barn, as you can see. Okay, go to your barn. Leave me the fuck alone. It bothers the fuck out of me though. There's like, there's these bitches out there who like, they either they don't know they're fat or they like know they're fat but they're like like oh my god I cannot believe like I skipped dinner tonight like oh my god it's so bad I know like I should not do that like I was mortified I was like wait what like actually you should be like what I, we should have done is I can stand I can stand to skip a meal like it's fine like I'm not gonna die believe me like believe me I can stand to skip a meal okay bother the fuck out of me bother the fuck out of me all right I don't care. All right, so um, I'm gonna talk about this lipstick too. I really like it. So I've been doing this thing. Um, I bought this when I was in Hawaii, which I'll probably never be able to go to again. Um, it's Bobbi Brown. It's salmon color, and I love it. It's like the most gorgeous, like dead peach color ever. I love it, nude dead peach. 
And so I've been lining my lips a little bit like sloppily with like that color, I don't know. And I've just been doing like one swipe at the bottom of this. And I really like it. So I thought I would show you guys that. Um, okay, so then what I talk about is a story that happened to me and I was still like really annoyed by it because I feel like I got like treated like shit and I would never, I, this is the thing, I'm, you guys know I am the most courteous bitch ever. I'm gonna tell you how I feel like it should have been gone, it should have gone because it didn't go that way and I was about ready to thing. She got me, okay. Oh, the bitch was annoying. Okay, so she got me when I had to behave. This is a place, okay, so I went to this like event um, for a friend, okay? And um, it's like, not a place you can misbehave, okay? It was like hoity-toity-ish, kind of like, what's the word, like, it was like, a, like a, a classy event. By the way, I didn't take a picture there. Okay, can I tell you what I wore? Um, for a lot of you guys who've been following me for a long time, which I've recently realized a lot, I have a lot of, a lot of my OG subbies are still around. Like I always knew you guys were there, but I really didn't know how, like, so many of you are still around. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you. And a lot of you guys are like, um, I don't agree with, I agree with nothing you say, but I still love you. I'm like, but why? Okay, but why? What? Why? Okay. Um, so, all right. Okay. Do you guys remember that, um, like a red, like a maroon color helmet laying dress I wore when I went to the New York fashion week, like eight years ago. Okay. I wore that. I look so good in that dress. Like you guys, I just love being thinner so much. Like I can't even, by the way, I've gained a little bit of weight probably because of like this, my family is over and like holidays and shit like that. But like, not as, I'm, I'm not doing as bad as I thought I was, so which is good. But, um, like, oh, like I just, I might take a picture of that dress, in that dress. I forgot to, like, we were late, and, like, I had to go, and I got, I thought I was going to a photo there, but it was dark. Anyway, I looked bomb as fuck in that dress. It's, like, an old dress, like, eight-year-old dress, whatever. I look cute as fuck in that dress. So cute. So, I mean, I just can't imagine if that event was, like, two years ago the atro atrocious outfit I would have had to put together. I, what I would have worn is a bandage skirt with a big oversized blazer over it because I would have no other choice. That's what I would have had to wear. But I wore this like hot ass dress and I just looked so fucking bomb. And I'm just like really proud of myself. Um, yeah, okay. So um, what was I gonna say? I was also gonna say, oh yeah, okay. So then I go to this fucking event and this is the thing. I'm actually disappointed that I look like someone that, like, you could treat like that. Because I don't feel like I look like someone that you could, like, push around a little bit. I, w I, I can tell someone. I can look. I, I'm really good at reading the room. And I'm a very courteous bitch. Like, I'm very, I'm overly courteous. Don't, I will not inconvenience someone. Like, I can't do it. I cannot, that's, like, why, another reason why I can't, like, ask for their coffee. Just because I don't. It, it's uh, there's a lot and there's a lot of reasons why it's just there's too much it's, too, it's just too uh, the whole it's too heavy so i'd rather take the burden and like have a shitty day because you fucked up my coffee because i don't want to deal with it okay so we go to this event i look bomb as fuck okay i'm wearing my i'm also wearing like my constance bag i'm wearing my pigale my og um by the way which are like so ruined i need to like have them fixed I have no high heels, you know what I mean? Like, when I, so I wear my old like Louboutins, but they're like cute. I look like I look like classy as fuck. Okay, um, I wore this, and it was like this is my um, a super revenue. And what's cool about it, it was just like poke. Well, I wore all of these, but they were like poking through because the dress has a kind of a high neck. It was just I looked sick. Okay, I love that outfit. So um, get there, waiting around, like there was a speech being made or some shit, like boring. Okay. And, um, during the scroll must have been like, kind of wasted. So there was like a group of, I know, get to the point. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, so I'm standing around Nick and this girl, I can see she like has this group of, there's like a, a group of people and she's like trying to look for someone to take a photo of her. And she's kind of loud. And I saying, I'm just going to say right now, she's Asian because she, she says she's Asian. So that's why I'm saying it. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But she says it. So listen. So she knows, so, so, so she knows she's being a bitch, watch. So she's like, oh, turns around, she's like, 
oh, would, like, to, to, to like me and Nick, she, oh, can you, would you guys take a photo? And I, I step up because Nick is going to take, Nick, like, Nick's going to take a photo probably. I don't know. Like, I just, once again, I don't want to inconvenience anyone, so I just step up and do it. Like, why can't, another thing I've learned recently, too, is to shut up, okay? I've learned just to shut up, and I, because I'm very, I think, like, type A, like, I'm very type A, but I don't do that anymore. It's too stressful. So, because Nick is, like, slow, slow to the, slow to the tr- trigger, trigger slow, slow to the, sl- what is it? Okay. If someone, if we're out and someone asks a question, I'm not talking anymore, dude. I'm just going to let him talk, okay? Because I'm tired of, like, always being the one to, like, have to hold the conversation and do, like, the fake, like, <laughs> this is Ming. She's five. She's a micro Maltese. She's really friendly, yes. Like, the whole thing where you have to, like, you know what I mean? Now, you can, even though you're going to be about 12 seconds too late about what they're asking, I'm just going to let you handle it, okay? You know what I mean? Do you, are you guys like that where you just take it, you take the conversation because you know the other person is, like, it's about 10 seconds too, like, just delayed? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I just took the camera because I'm not, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have, what I should have done just, like, sat, sat back and been, like, been the obedient wife. Oh my God. Can I please do that? I want to learn how to do that. So I want to learn how to be, I want to learn how to be like, okay. I want to learn how to be like that, this kind of person. Do you know what I mean? Like the obedient wife. Oh my God. I'm going to do it. I'm really going to do it. Like, cause I just so much easier for me. I'm just going to act like that. The thing is too, bitch is like, that's how I was kind of acting. At, that's how I kind of act at when I go to this event, these kind of events. Like I act like that just because I, I'm the best, I'm the fucking chameleon, you guys know that. I'm a fucking chameleon, man. I know how to read a fucking room. I know how to act to the mailman. I know how to act to, um, like, my suppliers I work with. I know how to act with customers. I know how to act with friends. What friends? I know how to act, you know what I mean? I have a different aura, vibe, tone, mannerism, manner, with, with, with depending on who you are. It's just, I can't be just like one person because it doesn't fit, it doesn't read the room. All right, so I need to learn how to do that. I really want to do that. Okay, anyway, so the bitch asked, sorry, we're still not, we're still not on the, um, we're still not talking about the fucking topic. So she like comes, she's like, okay, take a picture. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. I jumped right up. Not jumped right, I was standing. I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have gotten, yeah, I would have. So I was like, sure. So she gives me this camera and I guess it was new. Yeah, it was like a new kind, but it was the small one and it felt weird in my hand. Look, it felt weird. It was like, look, yeah, got it. So I took some pictures and I had the night mode on. So the pictures were nice and clear. And the girl was kind of loud. She, the Asian girl was kind of loud. And she's like, kind of like, this is the thing is like, she's being a little bit disrespectful, like acting like I just was there to like do her job, you know, do a job for her. And she's just like, like I was like, okay. I was like, Cause I'm doing the thing where I'm just being stupid nice again. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna take a few just so you guys have multiple to choose from. I'm like. Why? 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 Just take a picture and get back to them. Like, she's fucking rude, okay? So I'm, like, taking pictures, and then she's, like, oh, she's, like, I think we need one with a flash. I think we, I think we need, need one with a flash. And I was, like, looking at it right here, like, bitch, the picture is perfect. Like, you don't need a flash. You want a fucking glossy-ass face with a fucking red eyes? Like, what do you want a fucking flash? Who puts on a fucking flash for people at night? You look fucking crazy, man. Like, the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my life. So... I gave my phone. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I was like, the night mode. I can do the flash. So I gave it back to the owner, and she's like, yeah, I'm Asian. Like she's like, I'm this way. I'm Asian. I know we need a flash. Like acting like Asians know how to take pictures, like the stereotype. So, so I go. So I give her back the phone, and she gives it to the guy whose phone was, and he's like sitting there, trying to. He's like trying to find the flash. I'm not kidding. Twenty seconds. That's it. I was pissed. So I, I so I, I about 10, okay, I'm not gonna lie, 10, 10, 15 seconds, they couldn't figure out how to figure it. They couldn't figure out how to put the flash on, right? So I literally just grabbed it from his hand. I was like, I know to put it on here. Okay. So I didn't want the flash for them. I gave the phone back to them and they acted, I, I like I legitimately, I serviced them for, I'm not kidding. Like I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to deal with your rudeness. I didn't have to deal with you acting like I didn't know the fuck I was doing. Bitch, I took a good photo of you the first 20 times, okay? And then you're going to fucking sit around. Uh, this is the part that I guess you guys didn't understand, maybe. Is that, let me tell you how I would have done it, okay, bitch? Because you're rude, bitch. You need to go to a manners class. You need some fucking manners. Manners, bitch! Okay, get some manners, bitch! All right. 
This is how I would have done it. <laughs> All right. Hi. I was, oh, would you guys, would you mind taking a photo of me? Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Oh my God. Oh yeah, it's, sorry, I'm so sorry. Would you mind putting flash on? I'm crazy, I'm crazy. I just like, I really like, I, would you mind? Oh here, yeah, flash. Okay, let me show you. There you go. Oh, yeah. Sorry, 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 okay. Do you see how nice I was? Do you see how considerate, bitch? You don't work for me. You don't work for me, bitch. You don't owe me anything. You don't owe me anything. Therefore, I will be courteous to the fact that you are a complete fucking stranger. I don't need to sit around and fucking do flash, non-flash, not know how to fucking, you don't know how to turn, if you don't know how your camera works in that second, don't ask me. Don't ask me to wait around for you to figure out your film, which is your personal property. It's your responsibility to already have it in your head to know how to turn that on. It's not my business, okay? At that point, you forego it. At that point, when you know you've already irritated the person to the point where having to wait around for you like a fucking monkey like this, you don't, that's it. You don't get the fucking chance anymore. You have foregone the fucking flash. That's how I feel. I, that's how I feel about the whole situation. She was so fucking rude. Like, just made me stand around like that, like like an idiot. And finally, I just literally grabbed it from his hand. Just like, Here, I'll show you how to do it. Like, I can't get over that. And by the way, I'm not going to even go into the details, but she is such a fucking nerd. Like, not a nerd, but she's just a bitch. So she wanted a picture with this guy who was, like, really, really rich. That's what it was. And it was, like, really tacky because the guy did not want to take a photo with her. I was, like, with them. Like, she was just a kiss ass. It was so gross. Like, bitch, we all know you, we know why you wanted the photo. We know why you wanted the photo, okay? You want to, like, show off. Like, you're so dumb. So infuriated. Still haven't gone over that, to be honest. Still haven't gone over that. That was like <laughs> two weeks ago, and I still haven't gone over it because she's rude. So let me take you guys downstairs, um, and I want to show you guys um, something. And I just want to show you guys, and I'm like really excited about it. All right, let me take you. You guys are too much. Okay, you guys are too fucking much. You guys. Okay, you guys really like. All right, what's the word? You guys fuck with me, okay? Do you remember, I'm on Twitter. I'm showing you guys on Twitter. Do you guys remember, okay, do you, okay, are you guys my age? Are you guys like, I was born in 84. Okay, so do you remember that song? Remember all my video I was talking about that song? In like kindergarten, no, it was like first grade, I, fe I forget when, okay? That song, it was like recycle, reduce, reuse, and close the loop. We can close the loop. Some, some shit like that, okay? It got stuck in my brain for like, I'm 30, I'm 36 now. So it's been in my brain for like 30 years. Recycle, reduce, reuse. Like, like this is like the propaganda that is in my fucking head from time. You know what I mean? Okay. Can I show you what someone did on Twitter? <sighs> so insane. This is the thing, you guys. I don't watch my videos. I post what I fucking put up. Like, whatever I film, I just put up. So... Like, I can if people don't watch this channel and they just come across this, I can't imagine what they would think of me. Like, wow, like they would, I legitimately, God, trees. I legitimately look like a fucking crazy bitch, okay? I mean, I was pissed. I was, I, my head's going like, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Like, but you guys, you guys fucking like, what's the word? <laughs> you put me in my dick. If you don't know this, then you're just, okay. If you don't know this, then I, then just stop. You have to know it. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. If you don't, okay. If this word does not pop in your head, does not pop in your head. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, when I saw this, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, duty free, right? Duty free, okay, traveling, oh my God. So this um, bottle, they always have a duty free, right? I got a pavilions. 
<laughs> but I love it because it reminds me of like like duty free. I love duty free. Duty free is like duty free is so. I mean, I know it's like it's like it's for like anywhere you sit in the plane. But I feel like it's so business class. Do you guys remember? Okay, like when they used to, when you can like buy stuff from Duty Free, like on the plane, and they used to come around. I don't do they anymore. They come around the carts, and they like they will like if you bought like Lancome or something or like a Dior cosmetic, you could like get it from like the little cart, right? But anyway, I just this reminded me of Duty Free, and I love it. <laughs> okay, I really like it. Um, I want to see. Is there anything I want to share with you guys? I feel like I, there's like a ton of shit. Like I got so like, so much stuff I can tell you, but. Um, enough is enough for one week. I'm not sure if this went over the hour mark, um, but just in case it did, I asked you guys earlier what you if you were okay with that, and you were. So that's it. Um, God, it's like rainy as fuck out. It's like gloomy, but it's really nice. I wish there was like a little bit more sun, but okay. And um. So in three of these, I think it's not bad too. Three pieces, 150 calories. So I have like one last night. It's not bad. The Twix in here are like stale as fuck though. So, and I don't like, I don't like any, I don't like Milky Way. It's so gross. Um, but yeah, the Bounty is my favorite, the coconut one. All right guys, I love you.